Well, you know, these things, you have to relate these to a, to a country's history. And just as India's history is a bottom-up history, it's history of society, strong society, uh, it, it all depends on the temper of the people. What my visit to Tahrir Square convinced me was that India had come to a, to a stage of development and we were facing problems at a middle stage of being a democracy. I think in the case of the Arab Spring, you're facing the beginning questions. You know, they asked me three questions in, in, the, in, in Egypt. One was, how did you keep the generals out of power? Now, in India, we never ask that question because we never have strong states. And, uh, and, and the only reason Pakistan became a state run by generals is because of Islam. It's not true to the character, of the pre-Islamic character. <laughs> if you will, of the people, because the people of Pakistan are basically converted Hindus. Um, the second question they asked me was, um, they said that 11% of Egyptians are Christian, Coptic Christian, and 13 to 14% of Indians are Muslim. So they said that the Muslims in India feel secure, but the Christians of Egypt feel insecure. So how did you create that sense of security, that secular spirit in India that the minorities feel secure? Now, and the third question was, how, could, how can we get some of your outsourcing business? so we can also become a fast-growing economy. Now, this, this really made me realize that India had already reached the point where these basic questions, we've, we've got growth, economic growth, we've got, become a secular society, and we have kept the generals out of power, in other words, the army. So I think our issues re relate to strengthening the rule of law, and to governance, as I said. And that's a middle, middle stage of development. I would personally say that, you know, democracy with all its frustrations, with its weaknesses and flaws, is still the very best answer for any country. And even, the, you know, the Muslims in India feel secure because of democracy, believe it or not. That secular, um, the secular temper, the, the, it's, democracy is like a safety valve. And, uh, uh, and, 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 and I would just say that it, because of dissent, allowed for dissent, you, democracies do not feel comfortable with fundamentalists. They'll always be there in every country, fundamentalists of all kinds. But to win in a democracy, you have to move towards the pragmatic middle course. Um, so that's really uh, the way I uh, look at the question of democracy. Uh, for India, it's a given. But for a new country, it's not a given. But I would still recommend it with all its frustrations. Thank you. And, and, and I, I would also say that the democracy, it's not like you achieve it and then it's all over, it's over. It's a continuing battle to make that democracy work. I mean, even the United States has a problem, uh, we have seen in this last three, four years, of, uh, of, of gridlock in the Congress. So it's, it's weakened the, the president. 
The, America has one overwhelming problem. It's fiscal problem. Either you have to cut expenditure or you have to raise resources. You can't <laughs> have this particular situation. But no president has been able to solve it. Europe, you have prob in European democracy, you have the problem of the welfare state, how to afford it. Something needs to be done, and they are not able to do it. So there are problems, but you have to keep working at them.